How's it going, guys? My name is DJP, and welcome back to another NBA 2K23 My NBA Career Simulation. So, uh, I got a couple players on the list, but we're going to be doing this per person first, and it's going to be Tracy McGrady. So, uh, Panther with the idea, uh, I decided between him and Steve Nash, we'll probably do Steve Nash at some point, <coughs> excuse me, but first let's do Tracy McGrady, we're going to do him first. So, uh, I've got him ready, so we're going to get on to the simulation before we do. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below for more video days. Go to our socials, play a section on the main channel down in the description for the economy TJP. And if you can't read the description for some reason, because apparently some people are having issues with that on some other videos, I guess let me know. I don't know if you're trolling or not. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But it didn't seem like the guy was trolling. Either way, regardless, if you can't read the description, just let me know in the chat, uh, in the comments down below. And yeah, I mean, it, it basically just my playlist. You click the click my channel and you'll see it. That's it. All right, let's, let's just get on to the simulation, please. All right, so here we are in 2K. We got our man, myth, legend right here. We're going to be using Trace McGrady. Now, we're going to see where he ends up going. In real life, he was drafted ninth overall. So we're going to uh, see if that holds true. Chance are that's not. He's probably going to get drafted way higher, especially considering the fact that, you know, when you look at the uh, <clears throat> draft classes, historic 2K draft classes, it's not always the exact real players and are generated. So in case you guys want to see the lottery, so it looks like maybe the Pacers could win the lottery and get the number one pick. I don't know if Tracy would go number one, but we'll see. Regardless, this is how the lottery ended up turning out. I didn't want to watch the entire thing. So Pacers got the number one. Grizzlies number two. Hawks number three. I'd assume he's going to go in the top three. I guess we'll find out. Let's go to the draft and see where he ends up getting picked. So we're at the draft. So the first pick, the Pacers are going to be taking Tim Duncan. Number one pick. Oh, that's right. Tim Duncan, number one overall. That makes sense. Uh, second pick, Tracy McGrady is going to the Vancouver Grizzlies. Uh, so, a different Canadian team, but a Canadian team nevertheless. Uh, anybody else here that I would recognize? Keith Van Horn, he's real. Chauncey Billups is real. Steven Jackson is real. Michael Wagner, I don't... I mean, maybe... Yeah, you think he's real. And Tim at the end. Okay, all right. It doesn't really matter. Let's just send to the end. So, yeah, Trace McGrady going number one. Uh, number two overall, rather. Not number one. Uh, Tim Duncan obviously going number one, which makes sense because it's Tim freaking Duncan. Uh, but, yeah, Trace McGrady, 77 overall, 18 years old. He's going to be on the Grizzlies. Let's see what their team is uh, looking like. All right, so looking at the team, uh, I mean, the Grizzlies, they got Jerry Stackhouse. So, it's Jerry Stackhouse and Tracy McGrady. You got Muggsy Bogues. Uh, it is a very small team. James Worthy, an old James Worthy. Antoine Walker, another young uh, young guy. So, okay. Young team. Very young team, uh, for sure. Definitely not very big, but... I mean, we'll see how McGrady could do on this squad. Uh, we'll see how good the Grizzlies will be. I imagine they'll be probably they'll be in the lottery for a few seasons, but well, you never know. Well, clearly... Yeah, they're a pretty bad team. They're going to be a bad team for a while. Uh, they probably, the, I think they had the worst record in the NBA. Uh, however, uh, Trace McGrady didn't win any awards, but he is going to be on all rookie first team. So that's cool. How do you do in his first season? 18 points a game, 5.4 rebounds, 4.6 assists. Shot nearly 49% of the field, almost 38 from three, and only 60 from the line. That's kind of low, but other than that, I mean, he had a good season, played solid. And 55 games out of 72. So it looks like he did get... Injured a little bit in his first season, a little banged up. Nothing too crazy. For the most part was available. So not a bad rookie season. Uh, I mean, the Grizzlies are going to stink for the next few seasons. So who knows uh, when I'll have another update for you guys. I mean, if he makes obviously like an all NBA team was an award, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, uh, there, I do not expect him to make the postseason unless they make drastic changes plus improvement from a bunch of their players as the Timberwolves in the finals, McDyess finals MVP. All right, so uh, in our third season, because uh, I skipped last season, so nothing significant happened. They didn't make the postseason. But this year, they did make the playoffs. So that's cool. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys the team, because it is an interesting squad. Look at that. Jason Kidd winning Defensive Player of the Year. That's interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. How, did we get a Tim Duncan signing here on any of these teams, potentially? No, we didn't. We get a Steve Nash one. So that's going to be interesting to see Steve Nash. He's going to average 26 on 50, 40, 90 for his career. Um, Trace McGrady did make all-defensive second team. So that's cool. Put up 20 half points. Last year he put up 21. But, you know, he's putting up some good numbers. And the efficiency has definitely improved over the, you know, 
over the season. I mean, last season, the efficiency from three went down. Free throw went up. Field goal percentage went up. This year, everything went up. So he definitely had a good year uh, this this past season. I mean, he played 74 games the year prior, and this year he played 74. So for the most part, relatively durable. Um, and yeah, we, are in, we were enough to make the playoffs. So that's cool. Now, interestingly enough, we were a four seed. We're taking on the Sacramento Kings fifth seed. Now, if you look at the Grizzlies, oh, that's kind of interesting that they're... Uh, <laughs> the, the, the logo here is their new one, not their older one, which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, th- we have Dirk Nowitzki there, Michael Finley in free agency, Antoine Walker. Uh, I think they had Andre Miller at some point. Yeah, they do have him. So they actually have a pretty young team, and it's honestly pretty good. Uh, I, I can see them being good in the future, so... I think Trace McGrady's in a nice spot, him and Dirk. Especially, that's like a dynamic duo right there that, you know, the other pieces around them. So, yeah, the Kings, we're taking them on in the first round. They got Penny Hardaway, uh, Lionel Simmons, uh, Cedric Young, Kevin Edwards. Okay, they got an interesting an old Clyde Drexler. So, let's see. This is best of five, by the way. So, let's see if the Grizzlies can get past them and they can't. So, they lose their first series in four games. Um, so, they had a Trace McGrady do in the playoffs. Let's see how he did. He was not bad, 19 points a game. Uh, shot 50, almost 57% of the f- field, but only 286 from three and not great from the line. Dirk didn't shoot amazing from the three and had a lot of fouls, but he was really good from three and uh, good from the free throw line. But yeah, okay, we're really not, we don't have paying attention to Dirk, paying attention to Tracy McGrady. So uh, there's that. I mean, he wasn't there. I wouldn't say they were the reasons. Michael Finley putting up only not even 10 points on less than 40 percent shooting is probably the issue there but nevertheless a good uh, productive season there so uh especially after last season which they were better but obviously not good enough last year to make the playoffs and uh you know the bucks win the finals again larry johnson finals mvp because they won it last season and this year they won it again all right right a bit of a down season for the grizzlies uh i don't think they made the playoffs if i was my eyes were deceiving me um and still no all nba appearances for trace McGrady, but he got another all defensive second team he put up 21.4 points i mean some good numbers nothing too wild was he an all-star this year let's see if he made the all-star team has he been an all-star yet no he's just been sec two team second team all defense twice and he was on that all rookie first team so so far nothing too crazy from tracy uh, but he is going to be a, uh, on his like extension. He's going to be up for one. Uh, he played 72 games again. Not the too crazy. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder if uh, he'll stay with the Grizzlies. I, I would think he would. I mean, again, they're still a relative. Actually, no, they did make the playoffs. I'm sorry. They're the eighth seed. Okay, so they actually did slip in. I, I, I apologize. So he did make the playoffs. Okay, I thought for a second I didn't know if they did or not. Although, the chances are they're going to lose here to the Tim Rules or the number one seed, Stephon Marbury leading the way. Uh and uh, it is, uh, wait, what is that? Like, oh, that was Larry Nance Sr. Oh, it's Larry Nance Jr. What? <laughs> there's, there's another Larry Nance Jr.? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, um, interesting. Uh, all right, did see that one coming. All right, well, let's see if uh, the Grizzlies could somehow, I mean, honestly, on paper, this team does look more talented than the, the Timberwolves, but I could see them losing, and yep, they got swept. All right. Um, not a problem. Uh, let's see, how did Trace McGrady do in his second taste of playoff basketball? Him and Dirk, I bet they both averaged over 20. I mean, Trace McGrady, not too bad for the postseason playoffs, whatever you want to call it. About this, about the same, and the efficiency kind of took a little bit of a dip. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it, if I was him, I'd stay. I'd stay with the Grizzlies. Why not? I mean, again, you and Dirk could be something special. I mean, they have to add a little bit more talent, and the rest of the team has to catch up, which I think they could do. Uh, Timbles won the finals, and Stephon Marbury, finals MVP. All right, so Trace McGrady signed a three-year deal to stay with the Grizzlies, so he will be there with Dirk. And also, Andre Miller is taking strides. Uh, he's an 85 overall now, so that's that's good for them, I guess. Um, nothing else too crazy looking at the team. So, I mean, maybe this is the year they can break out of the first round. I guess we'll find out. Just kind of looking around the league, uh, we did actually have... Is this good? Yeah, we had a guy on our team uh, win six man of the year, Dante Good Willie. That's cool. Uh, did we see an appearance? We see an appearance of Dirk on the All NBA Second Team, but nothing from uh, Tracy McGrady, unfortunately. So he's not quite doing as what I expected he would be doing on, in the sim. However, the Grizzlies were a fourth seed, so good for them. 
And Trace McGrady's up to a 92, so he is technically the best player on the team. And he did, you know, he averaged 24.8 points per game. So it wasn't like he was bad. I mean, he brought up almost 25, 6, and 6.5 and assists. I mean, he had a good year. And, yeah, it was pretty efficient as well. So he's been doing well. And uh, this season, he only played 62 games, so he did miss some time. So he's been kind of, like, injured, getting some injuries here and there. No all-star appearance, unfortunately, uh, for Tracy. Um, but, uh, nevertheless, was able to get his team into the postseason, a.k.a. playoffs. And they got to take on the uh, number uh, fifth seed in Mavericks, who picked up uh, Vince Carter. They drafted the number one overall uh, in that 98 draft. Uh, they got Brian Reese, Ray Allen off the bench, Steven Jackson. This is a good team. So let's see if the Grizzlies can get past them. And they can in four. So they're in the second round. And now they're taking on the Timberwolves, who are coming off a championship. And they have Jason Kidd. Okay, well, hmm. That's going to be tough. Him and Marbury are dynamic backcourt duo. So it's going to be a tough matchup here. But this is a seven-game series. Maybe, maybe, nope, they get swept. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one coming. All right, let's see how we did in the playoffs. Uh, oh, Tracy got hurt with a dislocated left shoulder. So he missed a game. I mean, he did pretty good. I uh, put up about 22 points a game, seven rebounds, seven assists. Solid efficiency, two blocks a game. I mean, that's pretty impressive. But unfortunately... Yeah, that dislocated shoulder that he suffered in the, I guess, seventh game. Uh, it was unfortunate that he missed game the last game. But granted, it wasn't going to make much of a difference. They were already down 3-0 at that point. Uh, and it looks like the Pacers win the finals. Mike Bibby, finals MVP. Interesting. It went really well, and then all of a sudden the Grizzlies kind of had a stumble back there. So my guess is somebody got hurt. However, we do have a second... Uh, team all NBA appearance from Tracy McGrady putting up 28.6 points and uh, 6.9 rebounds, 6.9 assists. We had a really good season and he did play 81 games. So that's the most games he's played in his career. And I assume he was finally an all star. Yep. So that's good for him. So he had a great season. And uh, Dirk is also on the all NBA third team. And yeah, the Grizzlies ended up being the fifth seed. You gotta take on Dallas again. I should think we should be able to beat them. Now they got Ray Allen in the starting lineup. Uh, they got Udonis Haslam. Haslam is a first-round pick. Guy went undrafted in real life, but in the 2K, he is a first-round pick. So it should be an interesting matchup against Vince Carter's hurt. So uh, this would be our time to kind of take advantage of an injury-riddled, uh, without their best player, Dallas Mavericks. Can we do it? I guess we'll find out. And also... It is now a best of... Is it a best of seven series, or is that not until next season? It's not until... Oh, no, it is this season. And we uh, do end up sweeping them. Okay, so it was a best of seven, but we swept them. So good job there. Now I'm going to take on the Timberwolves' number one seed, who have been pretty gosh, gosh darn good in this video so far. And maybe we can beat them, get to the conference finals. Let's not get swept if we can. And we don't get swept, but we lose in seven. A tough seven-game series. We're one game away from a conference finals. Uh, how did we do in the playoffs, Mr. McGrady? He was good. He was pretty solid. Not too bad. Uh, slightly less efficient, but still, nevertheless, really good. And uh, unfortunately, couldn't get over the hump, but still a good year. Uh, promising. It's, it's going to be tough to beat that Timberwolves team with Marbury and Kidd. It's just, stuff of Marbury, man. Wins an MVP and wins a Finals MVP in the same season. Their season down the books, and I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. Uh, Trace McGrady made all the first team, but broke his left foot. <laughs> I was about to say, he had a great season, uh, but he will not be playing in that in the postseason playoffs this year, most likely. I mean, unless we get a deep run. Uh, but he had a great year, um, unfortunately breaking his foot. Played 79 games. I mean, a nice year from him. And uh, he was likely an all-star, I would assume, right? He was a two-time all-star. And he did make first team all defense as well. He made second team last year. Again, this team, this time he made it first team, but unfortunately he is going to be hurt. That's going to be tough. Um, yeah, I just realized. Wow, LeBron and Kobe are on the same team. Huh. LeBron James and Kobe Bryant are on the same team. That's scary. Okay. Well, we were the number one seed. However. Without Tracy McGrady, it's going to be tough. Uh, our guy that we were trying to follow, of course. So he, unfortunately, won't be playing in this series. Now, the Rockets have Steve Nash, Vin Baker. They have a good team, but 
I mean, we should probably still be able to beat them even without McGrady. Nope, we get swept. Okay. I lied. Well, I'm wondering if McGrady will uh, leave the Grizzlies after the season. He's going to be a free agent. So, well, I mean, we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, the Pistons go to the finals, win it with Car Kevin Garnett winning finals MVP. Let's see if uh, McGrady decides to stay in Vancouver. All right, well, Trace McGrady's going to be loyal to the Grizzlies. He's staying here with Dirk. So, a five-year contract. And, uh, I mean, listen, it's not too bad they did draft Sean Livingston, the 27th pick. That's a pretty good uh, guy to draft. They also got Royal Ivy in the second round. So, I mean, they got some decent players. Um, of course, uh, Dirk's on his last year. Hopefully, he decides to stay. Um, that way, he could be, you know, him and, you know, these guys could do well together. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, but we'll see. Uh, let's advance to the next season, simulate and see what ends up happening. Grizzlies are back in the playoffs, and Michael Jordan Jr. is white. <laughs> what? Are, what? Are, what? I, I, okay, I, I don't understand that, but all right. Um, <laughs> all right. Anyways, um, yeah, Tracy on All NBA second team with uh, Dirk. He did bruise his tailbone day to day, but he should be fine. Made an All Star team again. And he had a good season, obviously. 26.4 points, 6.9 rounds, 6.9 assists. And was extremely efficient from both the field and the three. So he's doing really well. He's off to a nice start. He's starting to really come into his own. And he's played most games past few three seasons. So that's excellent to see from the man, the myth, the legend, Tracy McGrady. Um, and yeah, the Grizzlies once again a fifth seed taking on the Mavericks, who... I guess Vince Carter's hurt again. Ah, uh, that stinks for them. But they just got James McDaniel, who's really good. Uh, James McDaniel's is uh, 89 overall. Yeah, he's had a nice career so far. So good for him. Uh, let's see if they can uh, beat us or if we beat them. We are going to beat them in six. Nice. So uh, second round, we've got the Spurs, number one seed. Gilbert Arenas, Mark Grady, uh, Wang ZZ, Mitch Gilmore. Okay, they got an interesting team. Trevor Reza. I mean, I guess their best. I mean, they had Allen Iverson. Okay. Well, Gilbert Arenas and Allen Iverson would be nice, but unfortunately, Allen Iverson's hurt. So maybe we should be able to take advantage of that and beat the Spurs. It's going to be tough, and we lose again in seven. Dang, that stinks. So can't seem to get to a conference finals uh, with the team that we have. Unfortunately, so uh, we will take a look and see how we did in the playoffs. The Bulls and the Spurs. Spurs win the finals. Gilbert Arenas finals MVP. Good for him. Uh, let's see the playoff stats. See how uh, McGrady did, and he was pretty good. Him and Dirk doing their thing, but fortunately, just not enough. Just not enough. Let's see if Dirk decides to stay. Hopefully, he does, and uh, they can both be good together on the same team. Well. Um, First time missing the playoffs in a while. Trace McGrady ended up twisting his ankle. Made all base second team, but they didn't make the playoffs. And Dirk went to the Raptors because he wanted to stay in Canada. So, yeah. Um, I mean, he had a good year. Pretty solid season, but unfortunately not good enough to get his team to the playoffs. Uh, 80 games played. And, yeah, the Grizzlies just weren't good enough. So, hopefully, we could find another running mate next to McGrady, or at least the team can. Um, I guess... You know, when they decide to make a deep run in the playoffs, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in, like, a couple seasons. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess I just want to see who wins the finals. Yep, Sixers win the finals. LeBron James, finals MVP. Him and Kobe on the same team. Uh, pretty insane, if I might say. All right, well, it's been a few seasons, uh, and unfortunately, the Grizzlies have been bad. <laughs> um to say the least. Not good enough to make the playoffs, obviously. Um, and, of course, Trace McGrady didn't even make any in all NBA teams. I only played 51 games as well, which is kind of unfortunate. So, the injuries starting to hit him a little bit. I mean, you got to see some good seasons. He's been averaging over 24 points per game for a while now on pretty solid efficiency. Um, but, unfortunately, you know, this is his final season. I mean, uh, he's yet to be out of the uh, second round. He's gotten to the second round. So the, uh, the thing was about Trace McGrady was always, like, he's, uh, uh, call it, you know, 
one of those guys that couldn't get out of the first round, but now he just can't get out of the second round. Uh, but, I mean, you look at his award so far, four-time All-Star, first-team All-NBA once, he's been on the second team three times, he was first-team All-Defense once, three times on the second-team All-Defense, he's been a rookie, all-rookie first team, so he's had a solid career so far, he's been a little bit further in the playoffs than actual life, um, but he is dealing with those injuries um, as well, a, a little bit, uh, so th- there's that. Um, but I guess, nevertheless, he's still kind of doing his thing. He's scored over 20,000 points. He'll probably score over 30,000, I would assume, uh, if he can stay healthy. But, I mean, you know, playing 51 games is a little bit tough. So he's down to a 91. I mean, they did draft Greg Oden. They got this Claxton guy. Um, we actually had Rudy Gay at some point, but I don't know what happened to him. I guess they – oh, there he is. There's Rudy Gay. Yeah, they got Rudy Gay. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see what ends up happening. Does, does McGrady stay in – Memphis, does he decide to go somewhere else? I guess we'll find out. Uh, they will have a high draft pick this season, and we'll see what ends up happening with them. Maybe he goes to the Sixers and plays with LeBron James. Who wins the Finals MVP? Him and Kobe. And LeBron. Oof, that'd be crazy. I was joking. I was literally joking when I said that. So he decided to team up. He went to Philly. Uh, but, unfortunately, Kobe went to L.A. But not the Lakers. He went to the Clippers. Um, man, would that have been a really deadly three-headed monster. But I don't think they could have afforded it. I mean, LeBron could leave. I hope he doesn't. I mean, I guess if he does, I mean, hopefully he could win a championship that, if he's going to leave. But, yeah, looking at their team, they have Sebastian Nash, not Steve Nash, though. Um, okay, they're an interesting squad. But, uh, yeah, LeBron and, LeBron and Tracy McGrady. I mean, a little bit, a little bit less than Kobe and LeBron, but still going to be pretty good. So I guess we'll pay attention to the Sixers. So he signed a three-year deal. Let's see what, see how he does in Philly. Well, it looks like the Sixers are pretty good. If LeBron James is winning an MVP, uh, career went to the Magic. Not even number one overall, number two overall. So uh, Trace McGrady on any of these teams, he's not. Uh, which is slightly concerning, uh, just because. Um, also, wow, they got J- they have James Harden and Stephen Curry. That's crazy. And the Memphis Grizzlies, Ricky Rubio, bro. I mean, I will say they probably Grace McGrady probably the right choice leaving Memphis. Um, yeah. Okay, that's crazy that they end up with him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, twenty six point seven points is nothing to scoff at. So he had a good season. Probably just didn't play enough games. Uh, no, he played 81 games. Okay, so he just maybe got snubbed. Uh, did he make an all-star at least? He did make an all-star at least, so five-time all-star. So they are the uh, number one seed. We'll take a look here and see how they do uh, in the playoffs. Uh, I'm just trying to get these career stats back. So yeah, I mean, they also have Jared Wallace, Lou Ridenauer. I mean, other than like LeBron and McGrady, not really much. Out, uh, not really much there. They got to take on the Heat. Terry, Pierce, Yao Ming. Okay, they got an interesting Eric Gordon, Boris Diaw. Oh, let's see how they can do. Uh, can T Mac get out of this round? Yes, they can. Now, let's see. They're playing the Bulls now. Second round. He's got to get out of the second round. He's never out of the second round. Tim Duncan, Rip Hamilton, uh, George Peeler. Okay, interesting team indeed. So let's see how they do here. Can they uh, get out of the second round here? Nope. And once again, T-Mac says yet to get that to the conference finals as they lose in six. And if we look at the playoff statistics, uh, I mean, LeBron carried. I mean, so did McGrady. I mean, McGrady was good as a secondary option, um, but unfortunately not enough as, uh, yeah, the rest of the team just not. Not enough around them, so, okay. Interesting stuff there. I don't know who shot 27.5%. Oh, Gerald Wallace, yikes. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> not very good whatsoever from the field. So, yeah, um, I mean, I'm hope- hopefully LeBron stays. Uh, the Wizards and Carmelo Anthony wins a finals MVP and another finals for him. So, hopefully LeBron stays. Otherwise, Tracy's going to be in mediocrity, even worse than mediocrity for the next... Two seasons at the minimum. Well, T Mac is back on the second team. Unfortunately, LeBron left the team. Uh, and yeah, I guess they they signed Barniani. Well, there you go. That's all I need to know. 
I mean, listen, McGrady had a solid year, 24.4, 7.1, 7.7 assists. I mean, a good season. He did play in 72 games. Not too bad. Uh, and, I mean, listen, I mean, looking at his career, he's scored over 25,000 points. He's 31. He's still, like, in his prime, I'd say. Uh, but, you know, at some point, he is going to start regressing soon. So, uh, it's looking a little bit interesting for him. I mean, it all depends on the second team again, which is nice. Um, and, I mean, Philly was an 8 seed this year. So, instead of being a 1 seed, la- like last season, they're an 8 seed. Uh, LeBron went to Milwaukee, by the way, in case you guys are curious. And, yeah, we're going to face this backward of Curry and Harden. And then, so, about Mario Stoudemire. Yeah, this team is pretty gosh darn good. And also, Richard Jefferson, but he's hurt. Uh, I mean, yeah, this team's probably going to lose. We're probably going to get swept. Um, as I say that, the actually won the first two games and then blew a 2 0 lead. Okay. So, never mind. Uh, I thought maybe they'd get swept, but they actually didn't. So, to my surprise, I'm um, in the playoffs. I mean, Tracy McGrady and Barnani did their thing. This was a little bit better of an attack, but still nothing too crazy. I mean,. Uh, from McGrady and Bargnani. I mean, let's see if McGrady stays in, in Philly. He's got one more season. I mean, if they don't make the conference finals, I'm probably not just going to show you the season. So there's that. Uh, unless he wins an MVP, of course, which I don't think he will. Hornets win the finals. Lamar Odom, who was on crack, wins finals MVP. McGrady, I think, signed a one-year deal uh, to stay with the Sixers. I believe it was a one-year deal. Because I thought he was a free agent. Um, Could have sworn he was. Maybe not. Uh, but they didn't make the playoffs. Uh, this, well, they made the playoffs, and they lost in seven la- this past season. So uh, there's that. I mean, he's 33 years old. He's probably at the tail end of his prime. He's probably got one more good season before he starts to really regress. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see if maybe this team can make the playoffs again and hopefully get out of the... Get make a deep run. I, I don't know, though. It doesn't seem like they're that good enough, so maybe McGrady's got to go somewhere else. All right, well, um, this is an interesting uh, scenario here. So, Sixers were terrible. Uh, Trace McGrady went all defense first team, though, which is pretty cool. Now, they did pick up Blake Griffin. Uh, they still have Bargnani, but they picked up Blake Griffin. With the number one pick, they selected Giannis. Um, so that's interesting. Um, okay, they picked up Sean Levy's. I mean, listen... There's still some talent on this team, surprisingly. Um, and, you know, again, adding Giannis is going to be huge. Hopefully he can kind of jump up quick and through the ranks while McGrady's still in the league, maybe the next season or two. If he can hop to, like, the mid-80s. You have Blake Griffin, who's going to touch 90s. I mean, you know, he'll kind of still in regress. And, I mean, Barniani is good in the sim. So, I mean, honestly, this team could be pretty good next season. Uh, because they were awful this past year. So we'll see what ends up happening. I mean, if they're good and they make a deep run, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll probably just assume in a couple seasons. Nothing too crazy, but they were able to get the job done and make the playoffs. Now they get to take on the freaking super team that is Milwaukee. We've got LeBron James, Kevin Love, DeAndre Jordan, John Wall. Look at that. Gerald Wallace, the spy, is now on that team. Uh, and uh, also Terry Evans. Uh, they have an interesting team. Yeah, they have an interesting squad. They also have Steven Adams. Okay. Now, our team, I mean, Giannis won Rookie of the Year. That was about it. I mean, Trace McGrady kind of uh, didn't really win any awards, but still had a solid year. 23.3 points, uh, nearly seven rebounds, nearly eight assists. Still shooting pretty well, I guess, from three especially. Uh, and, I mean, he's, again, had a really good career. It just hasn't been out of the second round. He hasn't been to the second round yet. He scored over 30,000 points in his career. I mean, that's pretty impressive. How many games did he play this past season? 73, so that's not too bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, was he an All-Star? He has been an eight-time All-Star. So that's cool. Eight-time All-Star, first-team All-NBA, second-team All-NBA four times. He was first-team All-Defense twice, second-team All-Defense four times. So, I mean, he's been doing his thing out there for the most part. And uh, we'll see how we can do in the playoffs, or at least we'll see how they can do. Um um, I said I was going to sh- not show you guys anything, but I guess they ended up making the playoffs. I said a deep run, but maybe they'll make the deep run here. Who never, You never know, but chances are they're probably going to get swept by Milwaukee. And no, they didn't get swept, but they're going to lose in five. All right, well, there you go. There you have it. They lost in five. Um, I guess we could take a look and see how McGrady did. Um, you know, again, he's not really in his prime anymore. You can see the regression. Nuggets win the finals. Derrick Rose finals MVPs. Derrick Rose to the occasion. Uh, and yeah, McGrady in the playoffs... Definitely the scoring went down a bit. I mean, still okay from three, but yeah, his scoring certainly took a dip in the in the playoffs. 
Um, okay. Well, he's got like two more years on his deal left. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, he's probably just going to continue to regress. I, chances are he'll probably retire after his contract. Who knows? What could be G- uh, Tracy McGrady's final season? Uh, looking at their team, they got to take on the Pistons, who have Kyrie Irving, Chris Ball, Paul Millsap in the playoffs. Um, and this is the reason I'm showing this, because I feel like this is going to be it for McGrady. I mean, look at his numbers. He's definitely regressed. He's 36, and I think this is, like, his final year of his deal. I mean, overall, though, the numbers look good. He's just missing that championship, and quite frankly, he hasn't even been out of the playoffs. Uh, sec- for He hasn't been out of the second round. He's gotten into the second round a few times, but he can't seem to get over that hump. Uh, and his hump, the issue was he could never get out of the first round until he was on that Spurs team in the finals which lost, uh, but he didn't really even play. So, yeah, this year, 67 games. So we'll see if they can get out of, you know, and make a run in the playoffs this year. Uh, Facing Detroit first round, and the Sixers will lose in six. That is unfortunate. That could be it. This could be it for McGrady. That could have been it. That might have been his final season. Uh, And in the playoffs, he was pretty solid. He's definitely better than he was in the regular season, so that's cool. But it could be that could be it for McGrady. That could be it for Tracy McGrady. Uh, as the Raptors versus Spurs, Spurs was in the final. Kawhi Leonard, Finals MVP. Look at that on the Spurs against the Raptors too. That's even funnier. Um, uh, but I guess you know Damian Lillard is on. Oh, ow, ooh, wow, they have a really good team. Okay. Well, let's see. Moment of truth. Was that Tracy McGrady's final season in the NBA? It was. So. Uh, unfortunately, in C- Tracy McGrady's career re-simulation, he ends up without a championship, just like in real life. Now, he got to play a lot longer. He got to put up way better numbers. He was rel- he was way more healthy in this sim than he was in real life. I mean, he put up a good amount of points, rebounds, assists, steals, block shots. I mean, he had a good career, but unfortunately was missing that championship. Now, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, of course, no doubt about it. Um... And, uh, yeah, eight-time All-Star, first-team All-NBA, second-team All-NBA four times, first-team All-Defense twice, second-team All-Defense four times, first-team All-Rookie. I mean, in my opinion, it's he probably had a better career just based on longevity. Uh, but in terms of, like, success, I mean, it's relatively about the same, I'd say. Maybe it's a little bit better because, I mean, okay, the longevity. Uh, so I, I give the edge to the game, but... Honestly, though, I, my expectations was he was going to be a lot better in the game than he ended up being. So, in my eyes, I thought it was a bit underwhelming regardless, even if it's better than his career that he had in real life. Nevertheless, still a Hall of Famer. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you guys saw his career. Put up some good numbers. He's an eight-time All-Star. He was on the NBA a few times. A few defensive teams, rookie team. But, again, no. Didn't even get to a conference finals in his career, which is... Crazy to think about, um, but if you look at the jersey retirements, uh, he got his jersey retired by Memphis. Not Philly, but Memphis. Okay, that makes sense. And uh, Hito Terkoglu as well. So uh, we'll take a look at the league leaders uh, in terms of uh, his career. So we'll look at the NBA records, see where he kind of just stands on, you know, the all-time leaderboards. And you can see in terms of points, he is number nine all-time. So good for him on that. Um, Also, too, Kobe Bryant in total points, is better than LeBron. Uh, I guess LeBron, at this point, he's only at 29,000. I feel like he'd be higher. Maybe not. Hmm. But Kobe's the all-time leading scorer. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so good for him. Uh, but it's not about him. It's about the man, the legend, Chris Brigetti. Eighth on field goals made. Three-pointers made. He's 11th. Uh, free throws, he is probably going to be in the top 45 yeah 45 number 45 in terms of rebounds uh he i think might be on here but near the bottom of the list he had 73rd all time assists he'll be closer to the top he get like nine something thousand so he'll be up here in the 24th spot uh block shots he might be honestly he probably is up here i think he he is going to be up here i don't know exactly where but he is certainly on this list um, I would assume. Yeah, he's definitely on this list. He's probably higher up, actually, now I think about it. Trace McGrady is. 27th all-time. That's pretty cool. 
And in terms of steals, he's going to be also near the top with, I don't know how many, but he's definitely on here somewhere. Uh, 47th. Okay. And then after that, I mean, yeah, minutes, he'll probably be on here somewhat. I mean, yeah, 13th. And then, yeah, turnovers, he's 15th. Not that you guys care. So, overall, I mean, good career. Probably better in real life. But honestly, for me, I thought he'd have a better career in the game. I thought he would have at least won a few championships. Maybe even snag an MVP. Because I feel like I've seen him do really well in the sim. But I guess just the team around him, I guess, wasn't good enough. Or maybe he just wasn't good enough. A little bit of both circumstances. Um, sometimes things end up that way so i guess with that being said let's go to the full screen close the video guys right, so hope you enjoyed the video you did make sure to like on it subscribe if you're not subscribed already comment all some more videos because like i said we got our socials playlist second channel main channel down in the description if you like other content btjp if you can't read the description well i don't know what to tell you uh but read it read it please read it uh with that being said though i'm gonna head on out take care everybody we'll see you soon peace